Hello, welcome back to my channel. It has been very long. Like, literally my last video was for Halloween. <laughs> Something is not adding up. Today I'm very excited. Today is March 23rd, 2022. Uh, first off, actually, let's see. What are some differences, some changes, some exciting things that has happened since I last filmed? I don't have a perm anymore. I have, like, brown highlights. I don't know if you can tell. Hold on. Let me get my phone flashlight and then you might be able to tell like do you see that i got my third earlobes pierced and then i also got my helix pierced i got two new tattoos this one that says good days like the song by SZA. and then i have my zodiac symbol right there Ooh, what is this oh i'm very excited i have been waiting for this day literally since november when i set the appointment Oh my god, my lips are getting dry from talking so much. I'm getting my first, like, big tattoo today. Well, it's not gonna be that big, but, like, it's big for me, and it will probably be the only, like, big tattoo, or, like, the biggest tattoo I get and that I will ever have. I have literally had this appointment, like, booked since November. It's been a very long time, and honestly, time went by really fast. And I'm very excited. I'll, like, show you guys the, like, design, obviously, like, when it's done and stuff. And, like, I'll talk about, like, the meaning behind it and everything. But I'm very, very, like, I'm actually really nervous because I haven't ever gotten, like, a big tattoo. Like, I have, like, numbers and, like, letters and, like, little, like, cute symbols. On my body i'm going to a ink tattoo in seattle i found their page on instagram randomly and i was like their work is so good and then i have a friend who went there twice and her tattoos are so good so i know i want to go here especially since i wanted like a design people tell me that the spine and like the back area hurts and like i literally saw this one video where this girl was crying literally in tears like screaming shaking but then my friend aileen has a back tattoo and she said it didn't hurt that bad which how i don't know but I feel like I have a pretty high pain tolerance. I have had like five months of thinking about this tattoo, okay? Well, I've actually wanted this for a very long time. Probably like a year or two, which is actually not that long. But like I found a design that I really wanted. Like I found like two and I like basically combined them. Why well, I didn't do it. But like I asked the tattoo artist, like I emailed them and I sent the pictures and I was like, I basically like want this without a certain thing and then I want like this incorporated into it. And then the tattoo artist was like, I don't have an opening until March. And it was November, and I was like, fuck, that's a very long time. But honestly, I'm very happy because it let me save up, first of all, because tattoos are expensive. And also, like, it really just made me think, do I really want this for the rest of my life? And the answer is yes. And also, you, like, live once, so might as well, like, fucking customize your avatar. Okay, I'm talking so much, but, like, I am kind of scared. Don't really know what to expect. Well, I know it's going to turn out good, but, like, I'm just scared for the pain, and... Actually, I think that's it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm saying goodbye to my bare back. You were good for 20 years. Oh my god, do other people do this too? Because sometimes I'm like, like, I'll imagine, like, a tattoo there, and then I'm like, goodbye to this bare part of my body. And then after I get it, it's, like, a part of me, and then I can't imagine myself with that, that tattoo, which is gonna happen. Watch. The way I'm bringing it back, like I'm going to fucking school. Anyways, on my way. Hi guys, I just got to home. Here is the tattoo. It has like the little clear bandage on it. So there might be like blood and it might be like, you know, extra ink and stuff on there. She said to keep it on for four to 10 hours. So I honestly probably leave it on overnight and then just take it off tomorrow morning. But like, I really like it. Like look at the detail. Like honestly, I can't really see it up close, obviously. So I can really only see it in like mirror pics. I have a dragon on me for the rest of my fucking life, which is crazy. Good morning. I look a little rough right now, but that's okay. Never apologize for your appearance. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I literally went to bed at like 1 30 and I work today, so it's like 8. But hold on, let me make a makeshift tripod like this. So we're gonna take off the bandage thing. 
I don't think it'll hurt that bad, hopefully. Because for this one, I have like the clear adhesive bandage thing, and it didn't hurt that bad. And what's small? This one's actually not that small. Okay, anyways, let me wash my hands. I am kind of scared. Okay, I'm actually probably do from the bottom to the top. Oh my god, that's kind of cool, look. Can you see that? Maybe not. Oh, maybe a little bit. Wow. Holy fuck. This is what I use to clean my tattoos. Because I've seen a lot of people use this, and I use this for my other tattoos. Okay, wash my hands again. Damn, I really have like a dragon on my back. Holy fuck. Oh, look at that drip. Some cute little water. Just like, go down. Okay, that's, that didn't work. I have this cute little cup. I guess we'll be like, my floor is gonna get wet. Oh my god, maybe this is not. Oh, that's so cold. Like, it's kind of hard to reach. Also the way, like when I took pictures for the tattoo, I literally saw my back. <laughs> I was like, damn. And my back was looking hairy. I was like, I didn't know I had hair there. So I'm gonna take a shower and then just like lightly rinse this off and then pat dry with a towel. I will see you like after I get home from work. So I wanna talk about the meaning behind this tattoo, the pain, the price, and basically like everything about this tattoo. And let me say like literally I was in shock yesterday like when I got it. It really does change your appearance cause like now you literally have like art on your body for the rest of your life, which I think is really cool. This is like Haku from Spirited Away, and I love Studio Ghibli movies so much. Spirited Away isn't my favorite Studio Ghibli movie, but I would say it's like on my top like three. I really like Howl's Movie Castle, that's my number one. The main reason I got this tattoo is because dragons are very Asian and also like in Japanese culture like you see a lot of dragons and they symbolize power and strength and also good luck. I'm pretty sure if it's not then I'm going to look dumb. Basically dragons are very Asian and when I was little in like elementary school and middle school like I got bullied a lot for being Asian. I don't want this to be like super sad okay but like I just I'm like trying to explain. Like, what is in my head? Hi, editing me. You can tell how late I am to editing because it's literally been like four months and look how long my hair is now compared to the last clip. But, um, I didn't, I feel like I didn't really explain this too well. Basically, I had a lot of self-hatred and insecurities while growing up and I was also bullied and so I really just like pushed back my culture and identity and I just like didn't want to be Asian and I was like, I just want to be white or at least half white to seem more attractive to other people um and like that's such a sad thing that i was thinking at like i don't know 12 13 14. i just wanted to say that and like now i love being asian and like it's really just like a part of me and literally like my culture is so pretty and I, yeah that's basically it like yeah i started taking like japanese class my freshman and sophomore year and i really like got to learn a lot more or like things that I you know didn't pay attention to because I was like I don't want to be like Asian like I don't want to seem more Asian than I can already be and that's so stupid like I don't <sighs> and a lot of Asian Americans go through this and it's really sad so I knew that I wanted to get a dragon tattoo to kind of symbolize me accepting myself and loving myself also a lot of Japanese people don't like tattoos which is kind of like ironic. They used to be associated with like the Japanese mafia and stuff. If you do little background on Google, you'll like see stuff about it. Like you can't go to like hot springs or like certain gyms you can't go if you have tattoos. My mom's Chinese zodiac is a dragon. So that's also like a little thing sprinkled in for like the meanings. And yeah, that's the meaning behind it. Or I guess three meanings. And also I just feel like having a dragon is like cool, you know? 
It is kind of basic though, because I feel like I see a lot of people have dragon tattoos now. And I really like like the placement and like the size and everything. And we originally went with like the smaller size at first, and then I had my friend Mahogany take a picture. And then I was looking at it and I was like, hmm. I think I want it like a little bit bigger. So we did one more inch like bigger. Next up, I want to talk about the pain. Some spots definitely hurt more than other parts. Like at first I was like, okay, this is not too bad. And then for like a good 30 minutes, I was in pain. I was like, fuck, like, mm, I don't want to be doing this. I mean, obviously it's literally needles jammed into your skin over and over. So it was very uncomfortable and like also like my neck, like I was in a chair that was like slanted and I was like facing down and like so my neck was kind of starting to hurt and like I had like my jacket facing this way so I kind of had like, like a cushion. Like so it wasn't horrible. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. It was more like uncomfortable. There was a certain part though where I was literally like my jaw was literally shaking. Like it was literally like going like this. I was like what the fuck. Like, obviously it was worth it. Like, I think my tattoo is so cute. Originally, the tattoo artist said it would take around two and a half hours or more depending on, like, how big I want it. But it only took, like, an hour and a half and I was very surprised. I was like, she was like, we're done. And I was like... And I thought it would hurt more when she would get lower on my back, but honestly, like, the top part hurt more. And the shading wasn't too bad either. The cost, it actually cost less than I thought it would. It was $400, but it was $350 because I paid a $50 deposit, like, a long time ago when I booked the appointment. I definitely will be going to her again because, or just, like, the entire, like, shop in general. Like, all of them, like, I looked at everyone's Instagrams and, like, their talent is unmatched. I love the look of healed tattoos, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like healed. Just because I like when it's more like settled into the skin and like a little bit faded. I'm really excited for it to like heal and then I can like see what it will look like. But yeah, my camera's fucking flashing again. So I thought I would end the video here. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.